All right, here now at the second station inside the Juniper booth, and this is, uh, I'm here with Kevin Landry. Kevin, can you do a quick intro on yourself? Hi, yeah, uh, my name's Kevin Landry, and I'm part of the Paragon Automation Marketing Team at Juniper Networks, and I'm here to deliver a demo on our AI-enabled, cloud-delivered mobile transport automation. And that's a mouthful. It's really like simplifying Metro. Right? Yeah, you can see it as yeah. simplifying operations. By it's using the cloud, of, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, so basically software as a service for network automation is another yeah. way to be able to see it. Um, so you know how at Juniper, we're, we're driven by experience. So we're really focused on all the experiences that we want to deliver for our customers and their end users to make them just amazing. But we're also focused on the experiences of our end users of our applications. So we're talking about the network operations Operators, and these are the folks that would use these type of solutions. So I just want to introduce, this is the product that we're talking about. It's Paragon Automation as a Service. And that we've doubled down our investment into cloud-delivered automation because we truly believe that this is the future of operations. Um, it gives you an approach that's use case based. So in the past, the issue was that we had various systems that were monolithic, do-it-yourself type of development projects. And many Many times all the integration effort and work involved would take uh, upwards of a year to be able to actually get deployed. Whereas this type of solution, we've seen studies from reputable analysts such as Analysis Mason that have shown that we're able to deliver use cases 70% faster and wow. at a 40% lower cost. So again, I notice here it says use, use case based, right? Can you explain what that is and how that works and why you decided to go that way? Yeah, certainly. So what we're doing is we're giving the opportunity for operators to be able to deploy individual use cases uh, when and where they need so that they could basically meet their requirements in a way that's most urgent to them. So they get to prioritize where they want to put their investment and which use cases they want to deploy. So what's an example of a use case? So a use case would be something like, for instance, a field technician that onboards a device, uh, or it could be a network operator that needs to have a uh, network observability across the network to supervise it, um, such these type of applications. It could be for service provisioning, it could be for network planning. These are the type of use cases oh, we're talking interesting. about. Interesting. And yeah. then how does the AI fit into this? So there's a couple of ways that AI fits into this. So first of all, there's so much data that we usually have in all of our systems. So it's difficult to be able to actually pinpoint the root cause of problems. So what we've done is we use AI to make it very easy to find that needle in a haystack yeah. type of thing. So It's you know, really a needle in a stack of needles I've heard now <laughs> with networks being so complicated, right? Yeah, they're yeah, so yeah. complicated. Yeah. That, and even in terms of the UI design, to be able to do that in a way that you're able to see immediately what the actions that need to be taken. Everything that's most urgent is most important. So, you know, we've taken on an approach where we've designed the UI to, to basically highlight the issues that are most relevant, basically, to go attack. Uh, and it's so easy to use. Like we've reimagined the way that we've designed our UIs to be just super easy, um, incredibly easy. In fact, it's almost like an easy button for operations. So with that, all of this is going to enable you to just get that faster time to market, uh, to be able to deploy your services faster. And it also gives you a chance to be able to have um, employees and resources that are not usually working on this type of, of solution. A lot of times you have experts. You don't need that much skill level to be able to use these applications because it's so easy. Yeah. So you're going to be able to spread that out. And, uh, so that means you're not, you don't have to deploy like high level engineers in the field anymore too, right? Well, it just means that you're going to be able to get them up and ready and trained really, really quickly because it's just going to be so simple. Yeah. And let me give you an example. Um, so these are the, the use cases that we're demo demonstrating here at Mobile World Congress today. So the first one is device onboarding. So the ability to be able to deploy your network equipment so fast that you're able to get up and ready for services within a day. Um, the ability to have network observability to deliver 
deliver unprecedented insights and visibility and also network trust. So you're able to establish uh, network integrity and trust. And we have demos for each one of these that I could show you. But first, let me give you this one example of ne network device onboarding. So we have this field engineering app. So the idea is once your device, like this ACX, comes to your uh, on-prem site, the field engineer is going to accept this and install it. And then it's as simple as scanning a QR code. So the idea is you use this application, and you're able to scan this QR code. And then immediately what happens is a view of this device is actually brought up. And you're going to be able to uh, actually have a list of every single step that you need to do to be able to perform that installation. So the idea is, in the background, what happened before the, the field engineer went to site was that the NOC, the, the planner, um, was basically making this design of what is the series of ports that needs to be inserted, as well as what are the capacity of the ports, what are the links. And that's all in our product. And I'll be able to show you that as well. But once this is done, you're able to basically get all of this validation done through this app, you be, you have all the hardware um, authenticated to be able to know it's actually genuine Juniper hardware, uh, and that's using our TPM 2.0 uh, chip that provides cryptographically signed um, measures, and we're able to get a view of which of these SFPs to be able to to insert where. So it's going to do that. Oh, and tell you where that. and tell you where to deploy it. Yeah. Tell you exactly where to deploy it. So once you're done, um, it's going to run through all these remote connectivity tests. You're going to be able to use our active assurance solution to test on the data plane uh, to know if your services are working. You're going to be able to know if your network's healthy and all of that. Uh, and then at the end, it's as simple as showing. Um, the pictures that you're taking, you're going to be able to present those uh, to the system and sign off the workflow, and then you're done. So that's exactly what it's doing here. Th there's pictures that are taken and so forth. So that's this uh, network onboarding application. And with that, uh, I wanted to show you the, the network uh, operator's view of that. So for the network operations center, they're going to also get a view to be able to supervise all the f uh, field engineers work in the field, but they're only going to be alerted to the urgent actions that need to be taken. So this screen shows you that. Um, when they're planning, uh, there's um, an planning app, and that's where all the magic happens. Uh, when they want to actually design the workflow that you saw on the phone, uh, I'll just edit this one, where you're able to actually specify all the links uh, in a view like this. So you could see how all the links have already been established by the planner to be able to set that. And the last use cases that we have are for observability as well as for trust. So this would be something like taking um, all, all the hardware that you deploy in your network and understanding whether or not you could trust it, whether or not uh, maybe there's some kind of manipulation that happened or tampering, it's going to be able to actually have a trust score if it's meeting uh, compliance uh, benchmarks that, and so forth. So you can see how we trend that on, on, on the graph. Yeah. All right. And, and that's pretty much the three aspects of Paragon Automation as a Service that we're showing today at Mobile World Congress. Well, well, that really is a different way of running a network, right, compared to the old CLI model. So, oh, definitely. Yeah, it's yeah. very intuitive and insightful. I think that our customers really love it. All right. Well, thanks. I appreciate the time. Thanks. Thanks.